Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easy. Me. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to customize your Chrome interface and make it look absolutely amazing. The first thing you need to do is download the Chrome extension called Night Tab. I will leave a link to this in the description box below, so let's go into this link. Now you need to click on Add to Chrome button on the right hand corner here and then click on Add Extension. And once that's done, just open a new tab to let these changes come into effect. I'm going to start by changing the icon's color, which seems quite basic, but we can take this to the next level later on. So start by choosing any color you like. I'm going to choose this color here. And if you want to customize it even further, click on the settings icon. And here in the theme, you will find a bunch of presets you can play around with. There's something for everyone here, from basic styles to something crazy. I'm definitely going to be changing my current theme, so I'm going to choose Koto. And as you guys can see, the background color has a nice gradient and it has also changed the color of the icons as well. And this is super cool and I really like it. More variations include changing the font. I don't like the default one that's set here, so I'm going to check the settings to find something better. Go into the fonts tab here and now I'm going to go into the Google fonts to find something I like. Here you can scroll through various options. I'm just going to choose this one here. All you need to do is copy the name of your font. Now go back into this and under display font in this field here you need to paste the name. And as you can see it immediately changes all the fonts. One really cool option is to change Chrome from either light mode to dark mode. You can do this in the styles tab, so back into settings, go into style, and here you can see I've set this to dark mode, I personally like it, but if you want to go into light mode just click here. And this is what it would look like, I'm going to go back and change this back to dark mode. Let me know in the comments below which one do you guys prefer. You can even go as far as changing the radius. Let's click on the radius. Here you can change the value. So right now it's square, but if you want to go completely rounded, just change it to this value here. And as you can see, it worked. Just play around with this and have fun. Another interesting thing is if you have two laptops, well luckily you can import this to your other device. Go on to data and under backup here, you can export your data. So click on this and what this will do is download your current layout and theme and later you can import this onto as many different devices as you want. Now I will show you how to add bookmarks. Click on the plus sign over here and now click on new bookmark. Right now I'm going to be adding YouTube so click on icon, search for YouTube and you can choose any option you get. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to copy and paste the name of YouTube into the show name as well. And now we need to put the URL that will link it to YouTube. So go into address, this tab here, and put in the address of YouTube. One thing to make sure is to add HTTPS before you put in the address. So I'm just going to put youtube.com and click add and there we have it it worked you can add as many bookmarks as you like and if you want to edit your bookmark just click on the edit icon here and now you can choose to delete any bookmark you like to delete it just click on the x button and then on remove and there you have it it's gone if you want to customize your bookmark, like I want to make my YouTube icon bigger, click on the pencil underneath that icon. And here, if you go into layout, you can have these two options here. You can change around the values. Just play around with it until you're happy with the way it looks. And in the end, click save. And edit again, and there you go. YouTube is much bigger than the rest of the icon. If you don't like the way this looks, then you can go back to the default. Simply go into settings, go into data. Now you want to scroll down until you see clear all data. 
You have two options. You can clear all your data or you can clear it except bookmarks. I want to clear all my data except the bookmarks, so I'm going to choose this option here. And now you are going to confirm this by saying clear all except bookmarks and it goes back to your default. If you want to import a theme, I have one made for you guys and I will leave that in the description box down below. But feel free to get any ones you like. Just download that file and once it's downloaded, here in the import data tab, drag and drop that file into the import file box. And now just go through all of this and click on import and you will get the one you customized. That's it for today's video. I had lots of fun making it and I hope it helps you guys. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Let me know of any suggestions of what you would like to see next and I will try my best to get to those and I will see you guys in my